In this video, we'll teach you how to construct a big data analytic using ArcGIS Velocity. If you followed the previous lessons, you learned how to create a feed and a real-time analytic using maritime shipping data. In this tutorial, we'll use a different data set containing event data on motor vehicle collisions from the New York City Open Data site. We'll configure an analytic to assess patterns in motor vehicle accidents involving bicyclists over a multi-year period. A big data analytic loads a set of stored information, processes it, and writes out the results to one or more destinations. You can create a big data analytic from either the main page or the big data analysis list page. The first step in designing a big data analytic is configuring the input data source. ArcGIS Velocity allows you to bring in static tabular or vector data sources for analysis. You can select a feature layer from your ArcGIS content or organization, bring in data sets from cloud data stores, or reach out to third-party APIs. For this tutorial, we'll access a copy of this motor vehicle accident data that has been hosted on Amazon S3. On the Connections Properties step, enter the access information provided in the Big Data Analytic Quick Lesson in the ArcGIS Velocity product documentation. For Access Mode, choose Public, and enter the S3 bucket name ArcGIS-Velocity-Public. For Region, use US West Oregon. The folder path to this data is at forward slash NYC dash motor dash vehicle dash collisions and the data set is NYPD motor vehicle collisions. From here, the data source configuration process mimics the process for creating a feed. ArcGIS Velocity queries the data source, obtains a few sample records or features, and derives the schema from those samples. As before, you can adjust incoming field names here make corrections to field types, or drop fields you don't need. For this tutorial, you really only need the following fields, so you can drop the rest if you prefer. We can keep date, time, latitude, longitude, and then number of cyclists injured and number of cyclists killed. Next, you identify key properties in the data source. For location type, choose XY fields and the longitude and latitude should be automatically populated. For spatial reference, enter 4326 and choose GCS WGS 1984 from the search results. Our data does not have date fields, so we will choose no. Date time information isn't needed for the analysis that we'll be performing in this tutorial. And for track ID, choose my data does not have a track ID. A track ID associates multiple observations with an overall entity, but the cyclist collisions are discrete point-in-time events that do not have a track ID. Press complete to finalize this data source and the analytic editor will open. As with the real-time analytic tutorial, go ahead and immediately create the analytic to save your work. On the top right, we'll click create analytic. Give it a descriptive name, such as NYC Cyclist Accidents, and optionally, a summary. With the new analytic created, we'll add tools to perform the big data analysis on the NYC Cyclist Accident data. As a reminder, with ArcGIS Velocity, you configure analysis pipelines in which the output of one step is the input to the next. First, we'll create a new field called Total Cyclist Casualties, which adds together the number of cyclists that were injured and the number that were killed for any motor vehicle accident. Click the Manage Data folder and choose the Calculate Field tool. Leave the option selected for New Field and name it Total Cyclist Casualties. For field type, choose Int32, which specifies this will be a 32-bit integer field. Next, click the pencil icon to open the Configure an Arcade Expression window. Arcade is a portable, lightweight, and secure expression language for the ArcGIS platform. ArcGIS Velocity leverages Arcade for both field calculations, 
filter expressions, and more. In the expression pane, enter an expression to add the number of injured cyclists to the number of cyclists killed. To do this, we'll click on the Feature tab here, and we'll click the number of cyclists injured and the number of cyclists killed to add these two fields, and we will add a plus button to add the values of these two fields. We can test this expression and see the result and type that comes back below. When we're satisfied with our expression, we will finally click OK to finish in the expression builder, and then click the plus button to add the field calculation and finalize this new field calculation. Finally, click Apply to commit your configuration for the Calculate Fields tool. Next, we'll filter the NYC motor vehicle collision data for the accidents that resulted in a cyclist injury or death. Click the Manage Data folder and choose the Filter by Expression tool. Click the pencil icon to open the Arcade Expression window. In the Arcade Expression pane, we will configure an expression to filter for where the total cyclist casualties is greater than zero, and also where the feature latitude is greater than zero. In the data set we're using from the NYC Open Data, there are multiple records with invalid coordinates. These records can be identified by filtering records to keep only records where the latitude value is greater than zero. Click OK to return to the Filter by Expression tool configuration, and click Apply to commit the tool's changes. Thirdly, we'll add another tool that will aggregate points spatially in order to represent the number of accidents involving cyclist injury or death as regular hexagonal bins. Click the Summarize Data folder, and then click the Aggregate Points tool. For bin type, choose Hexagon. For bin size, enter 250 meters. Under Advanced Options, you'll see set a summary field statistic. For the attribute, choose the Total Cyclist Casualties field that you created. For Statistic, choose Sum, and leave the default field name of Total Cyclist Casualties underscore Sum. Click the plus button to finalize the statistic, and click Apply to apply the tool settings. With data source and a pipeline of analysis tools configured, we'll complete the analytic with an output that will allow you to visualize the results of the big data analysis in a web map. Click the Add Output button at the bottom, and in the ArcGIS category, browse to Feature Layer, New. For data storage method, choose Add New Features. This means that you want to add all the results to the output. You would use Keep Latest feature if you were working with track-based data and only wanted to retain the most recent observations for any track in the output. For each time the analytic runs, choose Replace Existing Features and Schema. When this is chosen, each time the big data analytic is run, the features and schema in the output feature layer will be overwritten. This is useful when you are developing an analysis process and adding, removing, or changing tools in between runs. Alternatively, the Keep Existing Features and Schema option can be useful if you wanted to append additional records each time the Big Data Analytic is run. Notice, with these two settings, you may see that data retention options are hidden. A data retention policy is not necessary if you are always replacing output features since the dataset is not likely to grow indefinitely over time. Click Next to proceed to the next step. Enter something descriptive for the feature layer name such as NYC Cyclist Casualties Aggregation, and optionally, a summary. Click Complete to save the new output. On top of the ArcGIS Velocity application, click Save to save the NYC Cyclist Accidents Analytic. At this point, you have successfully configured a big data analytic. The analytic will load 1.5 million records from the delimited text file on Amazon S3, process the event records through a variety of tools, and write the output to a new feature layer. On top of the ArcGIS Velocity application, click Start. Notice the Start button will eventually transition to Initializing. When it transitions to, say, Stop, this indicates that the analytic has started and is running. 
While a big data analytic is running, you can continue working in ArcGIS Velocity, creating other analytics or viewing results of other jobs. The status of your big data analytic is available on the list page for monitoring. When the analytics status says completed, your analytic has completed and you can view your results. On the side menu, click Layers under Output to open the Layers page. Next to the NYC Cyclist Casualties Aggregation Feature Layer, click the globe icon to open the feature layer in a map viewer. Zoom in to the New York City area. Change the base map to the dark gray canvas for easier visualization. On the new layer, click the Change Style button, and for the Choose an Attribute to Show step, choose Total Cyclist Casualties Sum, which is the field that you calculated that we are now summarizing in this aggregation. For the Drawing Style step, choose Counts and Amounts, Color, and click Options. For the Symbols, change the color ramp to something that you prefer, such as a red, orange, white color ramp. Then click the Classify Data checkbox. For the Using dropdown, choose Standard Deviation and set the class size to one standard deviation. Accept the other default properties and close out the rendering. You can now easily visualize the patterns and accidents that resulted in cyclist casualties. With this kind of information, transportation planners can make more informed decisions on where new bicycle infrastructure could have the greatest impact. This concludes our tutorial on designing a big data analytic and summarizing large volumes of observational data. From here, you can experiment with different tools or explore creating scheduled big data analytics that periodically analyze a data set that is changing over time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.